Hello everyone, this is Andre at Simwell. In this video, we're showing you another new module in Arena 15, Search and Remove. So here is a model of a toy workshop where we manufacture some toy trucks and some toy phones. So on average, every 30 minutes, a toy truck gets created here. And on average, every 30 minutes, a toy phone gets created also. And we assign a different entity picture for both. And also an attribute, which is a number, toy type, one for the trucks and two for the phones. So if we click play, you'll see them accumulating in this queue one behind the other. So all of these toys will need to be shipped out of the plant. And there are some trucks coming in every three hours for the toy trucks and the trucks coming in every two hours for phones. So when these entities arrive, then we go to a search and remove module using the attribute one or two. And we remove the trucks here with attribute one by searching a queue. We specify the queue here and a toy type equals one. Now we selected the all true condition, not just first true conditions, because we want to remove all of the entities which match that condition at once and send them all to the dispose trucks here. Exactly the same for the phones here. So let's hit play again. And we'll be we'll have a breakpoint here. And we will step. And then we're removing all of the phones. So there should be six phones. There we go. And then we'll play again. And when we reach three hours, there are seven toy trucks here. And there we go. And if we play again at four hours, we have uh, seven phones again, and so on. Here is another example of a way to use the search and remove module. So in this case, we are creating some parts, and then we are assigning a random weight between 50 and 100. And finally, we're holding these parts in this queue here, one behind the other. Every one hour, We'll be creating an agent here, and that agent will try and remove the, the heaviest part stored in the queue at that moment. So the search and remove module here, we've entered a different search condition type here. It is maximum condition. You can also do minimum. So the expression here could be anything, be a combination of values, but in this case, it's just one attribute. So the weight of the part in the whole parts queue. So it's a direct connect, which means that the entity which will be found will be removed and, and directed towards the next module here. And it's important to note that if in any case, the maximum condition uh, is matched by two entities. So in this case, if two entities had the exact same weight, then only the first entity found in the queue would be uh, removed. So let's just run it a bit. So if we step here, we'll see here the weight. So this is just the active entity's weight. So we'll just see that the first entity has a 68 weight, 52, 55, 77 would be our highest now, 92. So 92 would be our highest until now, 91, 55. Oh, and now we're at one hour. So we're gonna go and pick up the probably the 92. And there we go. So the active entity here. So we remove the part and we're disposing it right here. And if we keep stepping until the next hour, 98.7, that would be our new max right here, entity 13. So if we search and remove again, there we go. We just removed the entity from the queue and it was indeed the 98.7. Here is one final remark about the search and remove module. So using the exact same principle, you can actually search a batch instead of a queue. So the active entities, temporary group of entities can be searched so that either all of the entities matching a certain condition or the minimum one or the first true condition um, or the maximum condition. So either of these search types 
will allow you to find one or more entity and either send them through uh, another the next uh, module or uh, remove them towards a label somewhere else in your flowchart logic. Thank you for watching. Simwell is an Arena Premier partner. We provide consulting, training, coaching, and support. And remember, if you simulate, sim well.